Hi, this is James Decker with Feng Office, and this is the first of a series of short videos we're going to make for uh, IQTEL users to help smooth the transition from IQTEL to Feng Office. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our email integration and how that works. And as you can see, I'm looking at my email inbox right now. And the way I've got it set up is much like the easy inbox in IQTEL. I've got multiple accounts I can view here. I can choose to view just one account or multiple accounts. Um, and I've also got them filtered at the moment by only unread. So now I've got everything I need to kind of go through to try to get to uh, inbox zero. So the first email here I'm going to click into is something I need to take action on. And if you look in the actions panel, there's a number of things that I can do with this, but I'm most interested in creating a task. There's some other things I've created here that are akin to the macros in IQTEL, and we'll put together a video to show you exactly how to do that in the future. But quickly, I just want to create a task from this email. So once I'm in the task, you can see I have the ability to assign this task to other people in my organization. I'm going to keep this one. I can set a due date. Put it out till tomorrow. I can set a priority. And then I have the ability to classify this to a number of what we call dimensions. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna I've created these statuses. These are custom statuses from for my installation. You can create and customize this however you want. Something we'll also show you in a in a later video. Since I'm actually not doing anything with it now, but I still need to, I'm gonna defer this. Okay, and now as I click through, so in the description, all of the content of the email has now been uploaded here. Under more details, I can set reminders. I can also link other objects, and you can see here that the email that it was created from is already linked. And then lastly, I can assign subscribers. Uh, this is something we'll talk about in a later uh, video as well. So I'm going to add the task. And you can see now in the email that that task is now linked. And if I close out the email, you can see that it's disappeared from my inbox. Now, if I go over to tasks, you can see in the task tab that this action has now uh, bubbled up to the top. There it is. I've got them grouped at the moment by the statuses I've created. And you can see I have a number of different options in terms of how I group them and how I order them. And I can go in here. I can see the email that it's linked to. And now I have a number of actions here. And let's say that I've just made that call and purchased my new Feng office. I can mark it as complete. Close it out. And you can see I'm showing it here, but uh, you can remove the, add a filter to, uh, sorry, remove, so it only shows pending. And that's how our email is integrated with actions.